Hi guys! So, it's been a little while, but figured I'd get on here. I totally left you guys off with my last video. Obviously, I um, had cut and gotten rid of my dreadlocks. So, I realized that in my video, it was totally like, bye bye dreadlocks, or the end, and I still had some, but that's because I was intending on combing them out. And I don't know if everybody knows this or not, because I've got a lot of uh, people asking me why I you know, what I was going to do, why were they short, why didn't I shave my head, and actually you can totally comb out dreadlocks, I don't know if everyone knows that or not, but it doesn't matter how long you've had your hair, you can comb out your dreads, it just isn't really practical, if you know what I mean, like most people might not, maybe you might want to, I don't know, not take the time, but I cut mine to like right here, and it's taking me... I mean, for the first couple days, but it's taken me three days straight. I mean, each dreadlock was taking anywhere from half an hour to an hour, and it was just, like, this long. And I'd had my hair for... Those were three years I'd had those dreadlocks. But if you look up on YouTube the, the dreadlocks, the comb-out method, you can find lots of other girls that have had really long dreads and have combed them out. Um, it's just a matter of, really, patience and time. And, yes, you're going to lose a lot of hair because... I don't know if everybody knows, but, you know, you brush your hair every day, you get hair in your comb. On average, the average person loses about, like, 100 hairs a day or something like that. And so, when you have dreadlocks, they disconnect from your head, but they don't really fall out of your hair. You know what I mean? They kind of stay, and so your dreadlocks get thicker and thicker and thicker. Well, yeah, so not only are you pulling out a little bit of hair, which you will, but if the more patience you have, the less ripping that actually has to happen. But you're going to end up with a ball, you know, a ball of hair. And the longer your hair, the bigger the ball. So, whatever. A little bit about that. Um, so, yeah. Um, you know, I, I've i had dreadlocks three sets total. That was my third set. Um, I've actually had my hair in a dreadlock process for about, like, six years. You know, and the other two times that I've got rid, rid of them... One was when me and my boyfriend went to New York City. We were doing a lot of like family connect reconnecting and um, it was when I had first met his mother and she kind of totally accepted me into her house and into her life and you know it was just a really powerful time and like me and him both got haircuts to you know jump into the game and like really show some respect to her and you know to what we were trying to do at the time. So, that was like a big life-changing thing. That was the first time my boyfriend had been back to New York City in years. That's where he was raised and had, had left when he was at, uh, like 13 and had never been back until then. So, it was a big life thing happening right then, you know. The second set that I lost or that I had gotten rid of was Comb Out Method also. And that was when... Um, my husband, I, I mean, I think he, I've mentioned in a couple of my other videos, he was assaulted in 2009 and got very, very severely injured. Um, and they actually had to shave his head and shave off his dreadlocks to do some of the life-saving surgery that they did. And so I took my dreads out at that time, too. Um, both times we had done it together. And this is the first time I've taken him out by myself, but... Um, it was time. It was time for me. And, and where this is, is like, I look in the past three years, I had shaved, you know, or combed out my hair from that injury or whatever, and then it's right away, I, as soon as his hair started to grow, as soon as he was out of the hospital, um, I started my new set of dreadlocks, a set that I just got rid of. And so, you know, I just had a major life change, my baby, and you know, all of that, and I looked back on the three years that I had had these, that hair, you know, the hair that was still on my head, the hair that didn't fall off, you know, the sweat and the tangles that were that time still on my head, still with me. I reminisced on that and realized, you know, there was just so much hardship and so much, I mean, it was, you know, it was a traumatic time. We went through all kinds of emotional problems, relationship problems, I mean, there was, you know, unfortunately, I, you know, I'm not proud to say, you know, there was, you know, bad behavior in there, you know, like, addiction problems, and, you know, just real hardship, and like, you know, real crap that I was just ready to let go of, you know, and like, all that hair that I cut off, 
that was the hair I didn't want with me and the reason I combed out my dreads because I thought about keeping them for a little while they were cute short but I wanted to get rid of that and you know I might get dreadlocks again someday in the future I love them it's, it's a beautiful thing but I would want to start new I started a new life you know there's no way I want any of that stuff still with me while I embark on this new journey you know so it is what it is and it feels fresh I mean I'm so happy to have my hair again it's been so long and let me see I don't know how it's gonna look out of the ponytail um, I still have like two little teeny tiny dreads in the back <laughs> I'm not completely done combing them out but so yeah we'll see and my hair is all super conditiony but yeah it looks like crap so <laughs> I'm not gonna take it down right now but when I have it you know rinsed and washed and complete I'll, I'll show you but it's long it's like and it's after I cut it it's like down to here um some parts some of it's just just about right here but had I combed out I cut off more than half of my dreadlocks man so my hair would have been so long it was so long it's crazy it really is crazy I've never had hair that long before I got dreadlocks I was totally like obsessed with cutting my hair and dyeing it and like whatever you know so so yeah new me I feel like a new person I feel really good I'm super excited about it I have a couple videos that I'm looking forward to making I like was right in the middle of like yeah I'm making a video every two days and then I had to do this change and I've just been sitting here for days just like ripping out my hair <laughs> but I'm totally ready I've got some good videos coming up um, let's see some mommy videos so yay! hope everyone is doing good much love and light um, hope everyone's enjoying their summer I'm here in Arizona right now and we have just been getting non-stop rain thunderstorms lightning storms every day last night oh my god it was crazy I live in like a camper trailer like I've said I'm like basically luxury camping permanently for my living style and there was a massive lightning storm like right over my head I swear to god it was like really scary it happened like 10 30 at night you just see the lightning boom, just boom like right away but then just one like it was you see lightning in that direction lightning in that direction everywhere you look there's lightning and it's loud and pouring rain it scared me <laughs> so but that was cool apparently lots of the country is in drought I am hoping you guys get good weather hope everyone's having a great summer and love and light I'll talk